Uh, today in this uh, video we are going to discuss a simple finite element simulation using the solid wells. Okay, uh, this is the simulation we are going to do. You can see the hollow plate subject to an axial load. The one end of the plate is uh, fixed supported. From the other end the distributed load is acting. Here you can see the how the plate is uh, deformed under this uh, load. And uh, here you can see the stress distribution. In here the material yield strength is equal to 27 megapascal. Then the maximum stress developed is, is equal to uh, 1 meters stress is equal to 21 megapascal. Then the minimum stress you can see the 44 uh, kilopascal is uh, developed. You can see the maximum and uh, minimum stress where these uh, two are developed. These are the points. The stress is maximized. If any failure occur due to this uh, force acting that will initiate from this area because the stress is maximized at this uh, point okay okay uh, let's see how to do this kind of uh, simulation okay this is the problem uh, given okay uh, first of all uh, we need to create the geometry okay let's close this one Let's open the file uh, part drawing, new part drawing, click OK. Okay, uh, I'm selecting the front plane, the glow, go to sketch, center rectangle, dimension 50, here it is 100, the Circle dimension is equal to uh, 30 millimeter in diameter. Click OK. Okay. Did this sketch. So then now we are ready to extrude this one. Click on extrude. The 5 millimeter thickness uh, flat. Okay. Click OK. Okay. This is the geometry we created. Let me change the appearance. Okay. 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 This is the model we created. So then uh, now we are going to start the simulation. You can see the uh, tab shown in here by click on this uh, tab then uh, by click on this uh, new study icon you can start the simulation or you can start uh, in you can see the file menu you can see the simulation tab by click on this uh, study also you can start the simulation if these two tabs if these two tabs are not shown in here you have to add these two so to add these two uh, click on this uh, arrow icon next to the option icon here you can see using the add-ins we are going to add these two here you can see the SOLIDWORKS uh, simulation put the tick mark on these two places then that will add it, this uh, module to the uh, SOLIDWORKS okay in here I am going to uh, click uh, new study here you can see the study uh, definition window open here you can see the name here you can uh, give any custom name here. I'm going to give a uh, hollow plate Hollow plate, okay In this uh, study definition window you can see the different analysis system shown in here But in here we are going to use the static structure simulation we are going to do so under the general simulation select this static structure static Okay, click on this uh, tick mark when the study is uh, defined, uh, simulation creates the study uh, window located uh, below the feature manager design tree. Here you can see, and also it creates a new tab next to the motion study. Here you can see, you can uh, switch between the SolidWorks uh, model, uh, 3D view, motion study, and static uh, simulation by click on these uh, tabs. Okay, next uh, we are going to assign the material to this uh, geometry. So select the geometry and uh, right click and go to apply edit material. Here you can see SOLIDWORKS uh, material library open. Here I am going to select as the material I am going to select the aluminium alloy. Aluminium alloy, 1060 aluminium alloy I am going to select. So apply the close. Here you can see the 1060 aluminium alloy added to this uh, part. After assign the material to the part, next we are going to define the uh, restraints. So right click on this uh, fixtures icon. So then go to uh, 
here you can see uh, all the uh, restraints we can add listed in here among these restraints we are going to select the fixed geometry because uh, this uh, face we are going to fix is a fixed supported face so click on this uh, fixed geometry then uh, all the restraints uh, definitions are done in this uh, type tab you can see type tab here you can see another tab they call the split tab the split tab is used to define the split uh, faces where the restraints are applied using this uh, split tab command uh, you can apply restraints to a selected splitted area but uh, that we have to define this area in a geometric modeling in a later tutorials we are going to use this uh, command but uh, here we are going to use this one type tab to define this uh, restraint here the fixed geometry here in here we have to select the uh, geometric entries where this uh, restraints I apply here the select this uh, window and uh, click on this uh, face here you can see the face has selected now the fixed support has added to this uh, face so click on this uh, tick mark okay here you can see the fixed support has added to this uh, face okay uh, once the restraints are uh, defined next uh, we have to give the loads apply on this uh, domain so uh, right click on this uh, external load here you can see the different type of loads uh, we can apply shown in here here i'm going to apply uh, force click on this force then you have to select the face where this uh, force is applied select this face you can see then uh, the magnitude of the force uh, force is equal to uh, 1000 newton u 1000 newton in here and also it is uh, it should act uh, reverse direction click on this uh, reverse direction you can see the distributed load the 1000 newton uh, force is acting on this surface uh, click on this uh, tick mark then next uh, we are going to create the mesh the right click on this mesh and go to uh, create mesh here you can see uh, on the mesh uh, density you can see the coarse mesh uh, and the fine mesh you can change the mesh density by changing the position of this uh, icon and in between the coarse mesh and the fine mesh and also here you can see under the mesh parameters here you can see uh, three options are given the blended curvature based mesh and also the curvature based mesh and the standard mesh among these three i am going to select the blended curvature mesh because the blended curvature mesh automatically adapt the element size to the local uh, curvature of the geometry to create the smooth mesh pattern okay then uh, for the mesh density what happen if you select the coarse mesh let's uh, see what happen if you select the coarse mesh click on here here you can see how the geometry is uh, decretized then uh, you can see the static uh, right click and the details go to the details here the detail window open here you can see the total uh, number of elements uh, 1135 the total number of nodes you can see okay uh, let's see what happen if we change the mesh uh, density uh, go to the click if you take this uh, type to closer to the fine mesh so let's see what happen click okay here you can see the domain uh, decretized to a higher number of elements you can see let's see uh, aesthetics the detail here you can see now uh, total number of elements 63407 okay then uh, again uh, go to uh, create mesh in here also you can select the element sizes maximum element size in this way also you can uh, further increase the number of uh, elements First of all, I am going to select the coarse mesh. So then I am going to select the fine mesh and also I am going to apply mesh refinement uh, in this area. Then let's compare the output uh, results. Okay, let's uh, go ahead with this uh, coarse mesh. Click OK. Okay, then uh, we are going to start the simulation. To start the simulation, go to simulation uh, tab by click on this uh, run this study. Also, you can start the simulation or right click on this. Uh, static uh, icon you can start the simulation select the run okay then here you can see the result here you can see the one message stress distribution the maximum value is equal 20.7 uh, megapascal 
then you can see the displacements that value is equal uh, uh, 9.9 .9 into 10 to the power of minus 3 in millimeters so uh, right click on this uh, stress then go to settings actually this is not a true scale it's an enlargement scale so here you can see the automatically its enlargement scale is selected as uh, 1005 1005.54 or you can use the true scale here let's see what happened uh, true scale you can see the true scale and also uh, let's go to the settings again so i uh, go ahead with the uh, automatic or you can give any uh, custom scale for uh, de uh, deform shape then go to uh, chart options the show minimum and show maximum here you can see the maximum stress where the max stress is maximized here this is the maximum stress point the stress apply stress develop is equal to uh, 20.7 uh, megapascal the, the minimum stress point okay uh, then uh, go to settings so uh, here you can see the stress distribution shown as the continuous manner you can change it to a discrete manner you can see discrete to a different regions you can see then uh, if you want to show the uh, mesh click on uh, select the mesh in here here you can see how the stress are distributed then you can animate deformation you can see the animation speed you can adjust in this way you can see here you can see in this animation shows when increasing the load uh, from 0 to 1000 uh, how the stress are vary okay okay next uh, we are going to increase the number of uh, elements so then let's see what is the results click on this uh, first of all i'm going to copy this study so right click on right click in here the go to copy study then uh, here you can see the source study is uh, shown in here and uh, i'm going to give a name uh, a fine mesh okay then here you can see the new uh, tab is shown in here the fine mesh here the previous uh, study the new study the copied study shown in here okay then next uh, we are going to refine the mesh uh, here right click and uh, create mesh okay then uh, i'm going to uh, select the fine mesh then i'm going to select the blended curvature based uh, mesh let's uh, create the mesh here we can see the created mesh okay let's uh, run the simulation right click uh, run simulation here you can see now the you can see the maximum stress uh, value is increases to a 2.1 that means the 21.4 megapascal in the previous study you can see this stress value is equal to uh, 20.7 when uh, dividing the domain into a higher number of elements the accuracy increases but the thing is uh, it's uh, take a lot of uh, computational power and also the time in this area you can see the stress are rapidly varying and also the maximum stress uh, critical stress develop on this surface so here i am going to uh, refine the mesh only in this area then uh, we no need to divide the entire domain to a higher number of elements what we are going to do is we are going to decretize this critical area to a higher number of elements so then uh, we can increase the accuracy in that way okay let's see how to add a uh, mesh refinement for this area so i'm going to uh, here i'm using the static uh, first previous uh, study okay then uh, right click on this uh, mesh then go to uh, apply mesh control then you have first of, first of all you have to select this area here the selected entities here then uh, from the mesh parameters i am going to select uh, the element size as uh, uh, 0.5 millimeters and also the uh, minimum element size automatically set as uh, 0.45 then uh, click ok ok uh, again the right click in here 
then go to uh, create mesh the remeshing will delete the result for study static uh, one click ok for other areas i am uh, remaining with the course mesh ok here you can see the created mesh here you can see this is the critical area only the critical area is decretized with small size of elements while remaining the other area with the course mesh in this way we can increase the accuracy of the result while minimizing the computational effect ok let's uh, run the study so click right click and run study here now you can see our uh, one misses stress value is equal to 21.48 megapascal then here you can see in a previous study the one misses stress value is equal to 21.45 this value we obtain by dividing the entire domain into a smaller a small uh, size of elements by introducing the mesh refinement for critical regions, we can increase the accuracy of the result while uh, minimizing the computational effort. Okay, that's all. I hope uh, you learned something from this video. Okay, thank you. See you next time.